Hey guys, so this is episode number three, and just like I mentioned, episode number two, we're going to add in this episode the shooting mechanics to our first person character since we are creating a first person project. So let's get started here, and I will create here a new script for the player. So, new script, and then let's call this one uh, shooting. And let's hit enter. All right, so for this uh, project, I will use Raycast. And there are many ways how you can actually implement uh, a shooting ability for a character. Um, Raycast are probably the most used ones because they are very practical. However, they have also a few downsides. Um, but before we talk about that, I guess the best way to learn more about Raycast and how they work is to uh, implement them. And once we have done this, we will then talk about the theory behind that, okay? So here inside our shooting script, the first thing that I want to do is to have a reference for our gun. Okay, currently we don't have this. So let's go back here to Unity. And then here inside the hierarchy, I will create, um, I guess we can actually use the camera holder. Let's see. Yeah, we can use actually the camera, ho camera holder. Um, so let's just uh, drag and drop the camera out of the camera holder. And then let's take the camera holder itself and let's um, put the camera holder at the position of uh, 0.5. And then let's drag and drop the camera back to the camera holder. All right. So this way our camera ho holder is now um, at the same value as our main camera at 0.5 or Actually, our main camera was at the position of 0.5, but since we have uh, just now the camera hold at 0.5, our main camera is just at zero because it's literally just sitting on top of the uh, camera holder position. Okay, now I would want to have a reference to that. So I would create quickly here a serialize field and I would say transform. And here I would say uh, gun shoot point. Okay, and then we will grab that, we will say shoot point equals to um, get components in children. And then we want to get transform. I think with this, we should be able to just grab the camera holder. Camera holder. So um, transform, all right. So let's test this out. Let's go back to Unity. And when I hit play, normally inside our new created field for the um, shoot point, we should have the camera holder. All right, uh, actually, I'm not quite sure if it grabbed the transform from the camera holder. I guess it did, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so instead of doing that, I guess the most easiest way to actually implement this is to just drag and drop the camera holder to uh, our transform field, like so. And now that we have the uh, transform, what I want to do is I want to say, hey, if we uh, press the input get mouse button down zero. Okay, if we do that, let's debug log shooting, okay? And then I want to uh, make an raycast. So I would say if physics raycast, and then we can add here a few arguments. Let me see. Okay, one more time, Raycast. And then you can see we can choose here between different um, uh, arguments. Uh, we will use uh, the uh, Ray um, and then out Ray cast hit, hit info and then the float for the max distance, okay? So here I would just um, create a Ray called Ray and then we also create a hit, Raycast hit, we just call it hit. And here we then add the array, and then we say out hit. Actually, what we need to do is to add 
the os the uh, transform right where we want to start the array cast so we will say shoot point position and then we also need to say where uh, the ray cast should go in which direction so in this case we will simply say shoot point transform forward and then we can also add a distance okay and now what we can do is we can say if hit collider if it's not nil I want to do something in this case let's just debug log um, hit collider name and you will see that we will get now back the name of the collider uh, where we shoot it at so in this case um, okay I have the syntax error somewhere all right so in this case since we have only the plane inside our scene currently uh, it's basically the only object we can shoot at but uh, if I should press now the mouse button and actually for some reason I cannot um, rotate my camera so let me quickly double check everything why that is so okay we are grabbing the camera Okay, now it works again. Uh, it was because of my low rotation X speed. So let me um, change this here in outside the play mode to save that. And now when I uh, press the left mouse button, and uh, when I press on the left mouse button, we get the shooting uh, debug log back, okay? So this already confirms that our code is working. Now, if I point to the plane and shoot at it, we should get back something back, but we don't, okay? So something is not working. Do we have a collider? Yeah, we have a collider um, attached to our ground. If hit collider is not nil, Guess we can just just say if we have a hit collider let's try out uh, to do grab the game object name and then I will also add just a cube for now just in case we have some errors um, because of the ground let's just try to uh, shoot the cube now and as you can see we got something back now this time we got now cube back okay so let's try out to shoot the plane and as i already thought yeah there's a problem going on with the ground i think it's because the uh, box collider has like no convex activated but not 100 percent sure why we get nothing back from the ground however when i shoot at the cube our raycast is hitting the cube and we are getting back the name of the cube okay and so this is what raycast do okay we are basically shooting from the camera holder in the forward direction which is the z direction we are shooting an array which is just a line and if this collides with something well then we can do stuff with that okay in this case currently we just console log the name of the other object okay and so with that we have already implemented the basics of our shooting mechanic so i would just create here a new function called shoot grab all of that then add the shoot function to the update method and then we'll paste the code here in okay and so now this will still work but obviously we want to have ammo or you know maybe um, semi auto fire or automatic fire things like that right currently we just can shoot when we press the mouse button down 
So we can change the basic by saying get button, get mouse button. And with that, we will shoot continuously. The problem with that is that we will shoot like a lot of raycasts with, with, with this, okay? Like too many. So we need to limit that with, with a timer. So let's create here quick, quickly a new e-enumerator. Let's call it shooting mechanics. And this will accept a timer, which will be a float. And then what I will do is I will uh, add here a few things. First, um, we need to create a bool. It's shooting and let's set this one by default to false. And whenever we call this E enumerator, we say is shooting to true. And then we say you to return new wait for seconds. And then we will add to the timer and then we will say is shooting to false again. And here we will also add now inside the shoot function, the uh, question or the bool if is not shooting. So we want only to call that if we're not shooting. Okay. And now let's also add quickly ammo. Okay, we will do this quickly here. Um, so I would just call this one int ammo, and this will be default to 32. And so whenever we shoot, just so that we have a response, I want to um, remove something from the ammo. So I would say if ammo. Is greater or than zero um, actually it's greater than zero I want to remove something from M okay now back to our unity editor when I hit now play first off before we do that let's click on player See, we have now our ammo and our shooting boolean, and we also need to add, of course, the shooting mechanic start quarantine here. Okay, um, so I will do this here. So it's a star quarantine, and then I will add the shooting mechanics function, and then I will add the um, shoot timer here. Okay, and then let's remove the ammo statement and let's add this one just here above our is shooting true. And then we need to create quickly the shoot timer. So I would just copy that, paste it here in, and then let's call this one float or change it to a float and then shoot timer and I guess something like uh, 0.5 will work fine. So now when I press play and click on the cube, for example, actually it doesn't really matter where we are clicking at, uh, you see that it uh, reduces the ammo. Okay. And you see it reduces it really slowly. That's because of our timer. If I increase the timer to 0.3, for example, See, it will work much faster. So I guess for a realistic gun, it would be something like 0.001. There we go. A little bit too fast. And once it reaches zero, it stops um, reducing the ammo. Okay. So in this case, we would need to um, reload the, the, the gun. Now, as a, for a reference, uh, let's uh, take here or create here another cube uh, at the camera holder. Right, and then let's just adjust that like so, just uh, as a dummy for our gun. Um, so let me quickly grab here the game window so that I can see what I'm doing here. Okay, and here we get it's now this uh, clipping problem as you can see, okay. That's because the cube is literally going inside our camera and we can fix that by going here to the camera and then we can uh, uh, reduce here the clipping planes as you can see that removed the issue 
All right, so with that, we have now kind of like the basics down. Um, we can shoot, it removes ammo from, from our script. And we also have a reference for a gun, but one problem is that we cannot really, our gun is not really moving with the camera. Um, so we need to attach it to the camera. Okay, and then let's rename this to gun placeholder. All right. Now the gun is following our player and everything's working. All right. Okay, so let's uh, take care of the ammo itself. So we need a new serialized field and add here a new int. And then we will say uh, current ammo. Or we can just call magazine. And this will be set to 32 by default. Now, instead of just removing that here from the ammo itself, I will say magazine, magazine minus. And then we will make a reload function. So here we say reload. And then we say, hey, if magazine equals to zero. And if we press input, get key down, um, key space, key code actually, and then um, R. So if we do that, if these two values come out uh, to be true and make sure to add that here to the update method, so reload. So if these two are true, we want to do something. Well, first of all, let's debug log something so that we get a reference back or some input back. So here we say reloading, reloading gun. Okay. And then we want to set the magazine to the current ammo size and then uh, remove that from the ammo, okay? Um, so here I will simply say magazine equals to ammo. And then I will set the, the ammo um, minus 32. All right. So now when we go back to Unity and I shoot the magazine empty and press R we should be able to reload the magazine. Therefore, we should have, again, 32 uh, bullets inside our uh, player. And at the same time, the ammo should be reduced by 32. So let's do this here, and I will change this here to 0.1 to quickly empty the magazine. And now if I press R, you see we have now 32 bullets again inside the magazine and zero inside the ammo. Now, when I repeat that, you see, it still worked, okay? Uh, we could still at least uh, reduce the ammo size by minus 32, which is not something we want, okay? So here we need to add another if statement, say, hey, if uh, ammo is, gr is uh, greater than zero, we can do that. But if it's not greater than zero, well, then um, we are currently empty. We have no ammo. So um, I would just say return, actually debug lock, no ammo left. And it should already work. So if I empty now the magazine, actually I'm still in play mode, I think. Uh, let me change here the shooting timer. So now if I shoot the magazine empty, like so, and then reload the magazine, and then shoot again empty, and now if I say reload again, you see nothing happened, okay? And that's exactly what we want. Okay, so with that we have fixed this issue. So let's increase this by 64 or 128, so three magazines. And let's try this out. 
if everything is working. So one Mac. Yeah, there we have a problem. So again, 64. Let's change it to 64 and try it out. Another problem would be that our magazine will be 64 because it always takes just the ammo size. So instead of just saying magazine equals ammo, we can say 32. But let's just add this here also to the um, statement here. And because we are adding here multiple arguments, we need to add these brackets here, like so. And now it should finally work. Okay, so no matter how big our ammo size is, in this case 64, it should still always just reload 32 bullets. Right, so if I shoot now and reload, you see we removed 32 bullets from the ammo and added 32 bullets to the magazine. And this works every time. All right, so I will wrap up here this episode. Um, we have accomplished quite a lot, I would say. We are pretty much finished with the basics of our uh, shooting mechanic, which is pretty awesome. And I think we are definitely getting there. Now, in the next episode, we will take care of the shooting sounds and we will add particles, uh, hit particles, and maybe some, some shooting effects so that we get a more uh, realistic response back. And maybe we'll also add a more realistic gun and replace our current place where it is literally just a cube. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and see you maybe next time. Bye.